Great morning traders. This is Austin. It is Friday, March 31st. It's the pre-market. A couple minutes past 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And this is our fifth and final video for the week series just profiling our, um, you know, $100 per contract or greater targeting. Been successful four days out of five. We'll see what the fifth day has in store. Looking at yesterday. I remember when we talked about um, the, sh the short trade we took, it worked for a couple of points here. And then I said, um, you know, price is likely to do whatever it's going to do. It could come down here, come down there. It could trade up to here, whatever. Well, indeed, it did that. You know, all of us put our um, CM roadmap grids on, right? When 935 hit, and this was the only, but this is what we all saw. Every single person with zero exceptions, trading financial markets that understands the CM roadmap intraday profile had this view on the chart. It looked just like that. First, first, And that's all we saw. It was 9.35 and then the next bar opened, you know, and, and uh, then it proceeded to do this. So this is, not, this is definitely not a hindsight study. Obviously, everyone knows that. This is a forecasting, looking forward projection tool. Right, and so price did the 90 plus percent probable thing, then it went up to the 62 ish percent probable thing on any given day, then it traded to the 50 percent probable stat on any given day, and you can see how it magnetized there. You can see how it magnetized here, there, and everywhere because this is the intraday profile of all financial markets. It did that, and I said it could, or it could, or it might not, because. Just because this is 90% probable doesn't mean it's 100. Just because this is 62% probable doesn't mean it's 100. 50% probable doesn't mean it's 100. So my objective 100% of the time is to lock in $100 or greater per contract and keep that. And I don't care what happens next. Oh yes, indeed there were long signals around the 2358 zone 57 plus 58 so right in here there was a long trade that went you know that far but then afterwards there really wasn't anything signaled this was just um algo driven v turns and chop and so there were only two trades yesterday signaled by the method that i use one of those was to the short side worked for a couple of points if you took them quickly one of them was to the upside which worked for a lot of points depending on where you chose to exit and that's how yesterday went. You know how today is going to go? I have no idea. I'm just going to try to book $100 or greater per contract as soon as possible and shut it down. And it might turn out to be the biggest trend day ever. It might be dead or anything in between. Don't know. Um, looks like they're going to open right about par. They're trading 2362 plus this minute. Uh, it's around 9.05 Eastern or thereabouts. And yesterday went out at around 2365 zone. So I don't know what's going to happen. I can tell you statistically what's probable with beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's a mathematical certainty. But I can tell you what I do 100% of the time. Looking for that two plus index points per contract in the S&P and done for the day. So let's see how today goes. Back in a bit. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now... 10.07 Eastern, the pit session began, um, traded the open range, you know, just just another day, quite frankly. There's the open range, and they traded outside, then they're pulling back into it. We get uh, confirmation buy signals on our trigger, trigger chart to 23.62 zone. If you could have got filled at 62, you know, a little bit later on, there was uh, fills there or higher, doesn't really matter. Price went up um, two and a tick, $112.50. It's kind of struggled. It went one tick higher. I just um, set a close stop and it hit that, and uh, that was that. Um, and it's you know kind of struggling there now. Once again, I have no idea what's going to go on today. They could trade to 2370, 2380. They could peak right here now that they filled the gap and you know roll over and and come down. They could do anything. The market could do absolutely anything from this point forward. I have no idea what it's going to do. I can tell you it's still in a in a upward bias mode, and that's all I can tell you. Well, another thing I can tell you is 
<laughs> we're keeping what we caught and we ain't giving it back. I'm done for the day. Um, prior to 10, 10 Eastern. Why wouldn't I be? That wraps up the uh, five day example here. All five days, we hit um, two and a quarter ticks, except for Wednesday, which was, I believe, five point, uh, two and a quarter points, which except Friday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, 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 was a uh, five plus point range because of the triple magnet and the influence of the crude oil inventory report. So, uh, and, and as I said, we just picked five days at random here, and there you go. And there's really no point in doing this anymore other than sheer entertainment, but that's worthless. I mean, you can get entertainment by watching TV or, more importantly, going outside and doing something real. Uh, next week, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to target two and, two and a tick uh, per contract, and I'm going to hit it more days than not. And some days, that's going to be the peak move. And then other days, that's just going to be a slight blip before it runs 10, 20 index points further. And what would have been my favor? And everything in between. But this is um, trading circa 2017 style for me and onwards. Forever, quite frankly. I love it. Let's go in, pick off a few points, create, print your own paycheck, and uh, roll on to the next day. And more importantly, finish up this day doing what you want to do. Now it's Friday. The weekend started for me. Tomorrow's the opening day of trout season here. It's practically a religious holiday. So... I'm going to uh, head off to the local tackle store to resupply the things that I really don't need but think I do. Uh, do a little bit of stream scouting, see where I'm going to start out tomorrow. And then I'm going to lift weights with my fitness partner. Um, she'll be here about 7 o'clock. We'll have a uh, good evening there, sleep in, get up and go fishing, and it's going to be a great day. You know what I'm not going to do? Worry about what the markets <laughs> are doing uh, beyond this because I'm done with markets, charts, screens and everything else from a trading perspective today. If you're doing this same thing with your own trading, that's great and congratulations. If you're not, why aren't you? When are you seriously ready to start? We'll talk about that this weekend in an intriguing new angle on the service that we're offering. But for now, let's get ready to fish. Have a great weekend.